Welcome to Kevin Dale Photography, where I take you on my journey through photography. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to tether wirelessly using Capture One in your S Pro series cameras from Lumix. I'm pleased to announce the release of my Capture One and Lightroom presets, Metamorphic Portraits, The Sound of Silver, and Rangefinder. These are all available for purchase at my website. Go to kevindealphotography.com or check out a link in the description below. And now, on to today's episode. If you're wanting to know how to tether wired into Capture One or just want to see my full review of the S1R2, check out a link in the description below or click the card in the upper right corner. Welcome to today's episode. If you're not familiar with Kevin Deal Photography, we do gear reviews, tips, techniques, and tutorials, and sometimes we dive into film. If any of that sounds appealing to you, click the subscribe button below. For all of you who are coming back to Kevin Deal Photography, welcome back. And for all of you who are here for the first time at the beginning of every episode, I ask for donations to BIG, which is an organization that helps intellectually disabled adults adapt to jobs in the real world. I also want to thank all of you who donate to my super thanks link with those donations. I buy more gear, which I then review on this channel and hopefully help you all with your buying decisions. But to the subject of today's episode, uh, when I went to bed last night, I knew that the S1R2, my S1R2 had a firmware update and I was like, oh, I'll take care of that in the morning. So I woke up this morning and to my surprise, I saw that Capture One also had an update which has wireless tethering for the S1R2, the S12 and the S2E cameras. So uh, in today's episode, I'm using my S1R2, it's the only one of the three cameras I own, but if you own those other two cameras, uh, this tutorial will apply to your cameras as well. So stick around and hey, you never know, they might apply it to other uh, Lumix cameras down the road. So I'm gonna be recording inside my Xsoon, uh, which goes into my phone, unfortunately at this point in time, uh, wireless recording of what's going on inside my camera with all the settings and all that is not supported by the Linux Flow app. So Panasonic, if you're listening, I sure would love that support. Uh, I know it's a selfish request, but that would be pretty awesome. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to set up your camera for wireless tethering uh, inside Capture One. The very first step is that you need to get the latest firmware as far as I can see. So I'll leave a link in the description below where you can download the latest firmware for your S Pro series cameras. I went ahead and downloaded the update. There's a lot of really cool features like 8K open gate and urban sports and a lot of really cool features that I haven't even had a chance to dive into, but I wanted to make a specific tutorial for you photographers out there who are using your S Pro series cameras for photography uh, and tethering in particular, wireless tethering. And so let's begin our lesson right now. Okay, so for your first step, you need to navigate over to the wrench icon and then you need to go to this wireless. And one very important step that may save you 10 minutes is if you have Bluetooth enabled. So let's go over to Bluetooth and you can see where it says smartphone. You need to make sure that you turn that to off. And the reason why is because if you try to go to your LAN Wi-Fi, you see how Wi-Fi function is grayed out? That's because the uh, camera is trying to latch onto Bluetooth. So you need to go back over to Bluetooth. You need to go to Bluetooth function and you need to take that smartphone and turn it to off. Hopefully that saved you about 10 minutes of searching around if you're new to Linux. If it did, hit the like and subscribe. That would be great. Now let's go over to LAN Wi-Fi. Now you see that Wi-Fi function is something that you can currently select. So let's go ahead and select that. And after this please wait ends, you'll go to new connection and you'll go to tether. Uh, now you can do direct or via network. I recommend you do via network. I tried to do this direct and it was incredibly slow. We're talking like 30 seconds for a raw file to transfer from the camera to your computer. So I don't recommend direct. Then once the searching concludes, a list of available networks will appear. I used to name my network Skynet, but with the rise of artificial intelligence, I didn't want to scare my neighbors. So I changed my network name to deal with it, but uh, it automatically recognized my network. So what you have to do is you have to put your password in and all that, not a big deal. Once you do that, uh, it'll give you this prompt. It will say, select this camera in Tether software. All right, so I'm in Capture One and I'm gonna go over to the Tether area right here. 
and then you go down to camera. And then when you go to select camera, you see right here, this Panasonic DC-S1R M2 is on my network. Now watch, when I click this, you're gonna see now, I can now do tethered shooting. Now watch, if I select this camera icon, it's like uh, never ending. But now I can take pictures. So when you get in here, you can remotely control your camera. So I'm inside the program now and I'm just, I'm clicking from my mouse. And then everything is transferring wirelessly over my network. Now, uh, I will tell you that so far I'm seeing speeds of about five to 10 seconds for JPEGs and about 10 to 15 seconds for raw files. So if you want real time, uh, shooting, you're still gonna have to shoot tethered with a cable. So that is how you set up your camera wirelessly to tether in Capture One, whether you have an S1R2, an S12, or an S12E. Uh, I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you found it to be useful. If you did, I would appreciate it if you click the subscribe button below. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.